following me this time! Back off! You're too late this time! If I kill her now, the Aragami will be banished back to oblivion! I'll slit your precious cushion on his throat, and freedom shall be mine. <laughs> What's wrong? No powers in the daylight? Are you an Aragami? And if I'm not... That makes you a murderer. <sighs> TAC, I admire your work. Later. What? <laughs> All right. Follow him! I'm on it! <laughs> Thank God you're all right. Can you stand? Uh, yes. Thank you. Well, now, so you're Mamiji Fujimiya. Uh, how did you know my name? I think you'd better skip school today. I'll take you home, okay? School? Huh? Oh, I missed the bus! Oh, I, I'm really sorry, but I gotta go! Momiji, wait! Thank you for saving me! Oh, the bus, wait for me! This is the last time I'm stopping for you, man. I understand. Katie is... I'm so horribly sorry. I thought that adopting Katie would be best. But somehow, the Aragami found her. And now they found Momiji as well. I see. I I'm so sorry. Momiji, just what is your problem? Huh? What? Don't know what me. You were late for class and you've been acting like a zombie. Uh-huh. Wake up! Ah! Hey, that's cold! Well, it woke you up, didn't it? Why did you do that, Akiko? Because you weren't listening to a word I said. So, like, what's your problem? You weren't out late with some guy, were you? No. Uh... <sighs> some really weird things have been happening. I have to kill you. A time to sacrifice everything? Ugh, Grandma, is this what you're talking about? Huh? But I don't have a twin sister, and I don't even know what a cushion that is! Boy, are you running a fever or what? Is there any way I can help? Akiko, what's a cushion you're kidding, right? You've lived in Azumo for 15 years and you really don't know? <sighs> Are you incredibly dense or just stupid? Kushinada! <laughs> For legends, the Aragami have always been a threat to mankind. It's been over a hundred years since my family's blood last put them to rest. Foolishly, I believed they would sleep on forever. I never suspected that they had reawakened 15 years ago. The time of the Kushinadas is past. There is nothing left that we can do. We have all failed. No, my lady. As long as Momiji is alive, hope still remains. 
Please, let the TAC take Momiji into protective custody. Hmm. I'm sorry. He got away. I see. Takeuchi, huh? we've got to protect Momiji. I want you to contact her school immediately. The time has come. My lady, we have no choice. Sir? I called the school three times, but I couldn't get through. Nobody is answering the phone. What? Right! Let's go! Yes, sir! Wait, please! <gasps> Take me with you, I beg you. Moe! I can't! Please! Hey, you Joshy, what's a big deal showing me on this helicopter? When we get an order, we don't ask questions. You jerk! Do you know we took off without any weapons? Not at all. We're quite well armed. I've got the ultimate anti-aragami weapon right here in my lap. The ultimate anti-aragami weapon? Yes, sir. We got it ready just in time. It's TI plasmids in a concentrated vector. Right. But keep in mind that it's never been field tested before. I'm sure it will. We must stop the aragami. No, that won't happen. We mustn't forget what happened to Katie! Ugh. I've already cleared things with the self-defense agency! Don't be late! Once, long ago, an old husband, his wife and eight daughters, lived together beside the stream of He and Izumo. However, every year a monster, with one body, eight heads, and flame-red eyes, the Orochi no Orochi, would come to eat one of the daughters. At last, there was only one daughter left, and the old parents were reduced to tears. Then, one day, the outcast god, Susano-o, appeared before the old couple. Susano-o made the Orochi no Orochi drunk by feeding it sake, then slew the monster in a terrible battle. The last daughter, who had almost become a victim, Instead, married Susanoo. She became the Princess Kushinada. Oh, this doesn't make any sense! This stuff is driving me crazy! Just what does this Kushinada stuff have to do with me?